So you mentioned there you, you moved around from gym to gym. So how did you end up with John Cavan at SPG? Um, yeah, I, m I moved around from gym to gym. You know, every gym I went to was always, they had a set way. Every gym had a set way of doing things. Don't do it this way, do it that way. So that was just a normal thing that I thought, I thought just people just have their own set way and you must do it that way. You must stand this way, you must kick this way, you must punch this way. But with John, when I went to John, and I met, met my coach John Cabinet at Straight Blast Gym, it wasn't like that. He had a more open mind and he encouraged different movements. And I'd never experienced that before. I'd never heard a coach say that to me before. And that stuck in my head, you know, I thought to myself, you know, this guy is, is, is thinking outside the box, you know what I mean? That he has a vision that everything works and, and he, he encourages every movement because ultimately there is a time and a place for every single move. So I just, ha I just knew when, when I met John and I, when he spoke, it made complete sense to me. And that was it, I stuck with him and he stuck with me and the rest is history. And was it meeting John and training at SPG, is that when it shifted from learning martial arts to seeking perfection in human movement? 100%. It's when, I, it's when I start thinking of a career in it. So I never cared. I don't care. Still, I really don't care about sport. I got in it for street. You know what I mean? I was thinking about the street. I wanted to be able to defend myself in any situation. But when I met John and then the UFC, start hearing about the UFC, then I started thinking, you know what? There's, there's a career. Maybe I can make something out, out, out of this. Well, what else am I going to do? I don't really want to do anything else. I don't want to get a job. I don't want to have to get up and have, I don't want to listen to a boss or, or do all that, you know. So th this is an option for me. So I stuck with it and John encouraged it. John believed, that made, John believed in me and made me believe in myself that we could go and do this. But before us, there was no other Irish man. There was no, the US, as far as the UFC were concerned, Ireland didn't exist. So it was still just a dream for us, you know what I mean? But definitely when I, when I met John and when I started training in straight blast gym, I started realising, I can, I can make a career out of this. I, I can do something that hasn't been done before. I can show the Irish people true martial arts, something they have never seen before. 